the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLA, has declared the suspended head of the Police Intelligence Response Team, IRT, DCP Abakiari, wanted. He has been declared wanted over suspected links with an international drug cartel. This was made known by the spokesperson for the NDLA, Femi Baba Femi, during a press briefing held at the agency's headquarters. <laughs> the NDLA said an investigation has revealed that Kayari is a member of a drug syndicate which operates across the globe. Eh? Kayari is a member of a drug syndicate which operates across the globe. La Kuli. Hmm. The shocking revelation comes amid the police chief's controversial involvement with self-confessed internet fraudster Ramon Abbas, popularly known as Hush Poppy. In July 2021, the United States Federal Bureau of Investigation revealed how Kayari allegedly collaborated with Hush Poppy to jail one of the latest associates after a dispute over a $1.1 million scam on a Qatari businessman. The FBI also alleged that the embattled social media celebrity sent money to Kayari via a third person's bank account and hosted him in his Dubai apartment. According to the U.S. Department of Justice, a criminal complaint initiated the prosecution of Hush Poppy as court documents showed that Abbas 37 pleaded guilty. Hmm. The United States Attorney's Office, Central District of California, had issued an arrest warrant against Kayari. Hush Poppy has since pleaded guilty to the charges as an if convicted, risk a 20-year jail term, three-year supervision upon completion of jail term and monetary restitution to the tune of $500,000 or more. The court documents also outlined a dispute among members of the Hush Poppy conspiracy, which allegedly prompted him to arrange to have an individual identified as co-conspirator Kelly Chibuzo Vicent jailed in Nigeria by DCP Abakiari. Following the allegation, the top detective was suspended and a panel was set up by the Inspector General of Police to probe the FBI allegations. But Kayari denied the allegations claiming that his hands are clean. Okay. So, which one is this one again? Hmm. Which one is this one again? NDLA. They said uh, uh, he has linked with an international drug cartel. Are you? Can you imagine that? And again, there's something that uh, struck me here. The NDLA said an investigation has revealed, they have done their investigation, that Kayari is a member of a drug syndicate which operates across the globe. Is a member okay? Oh, Egbe Wagers, let's hear from you. Hey, hey, Egbe Wagers, let's hear from you. These guys are, are something else, they are something else. Just hand him over to FBI at once so that we can have peace here. Oh. This is a tip of the iceberg. We are aware of what they always hide and do, we'll be exposed. By the end of it all, the truth shall reveal itself. I don't see the Americans as liars in the regards that concerns criminals and their masterminds, including their supporters. Why declaring him wanted when you know where he is, or at least invite him for questioning and arrest him afterwards? The media trial in Nigeria got to stop. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This man should be treated like... And in, he was just a hoodlum police officer claiming super cop. As a matter of fact, all cases prosecuted by the Kiari should be re-examined by an independent body, and uh, which I, I support to that. Propaganda. So they don't want us to extradite him. At him extradite him. NDLA will now see seize uh, his international po uh, passport to prevent his extradition. We know the game already. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> Let's wait and see. It's just unfortunate that uh, all these people, uh, they are cartels. Even among the politicians, all of them, they know how to cover themselves up. That is where we have problem in this country. He must face SB FBI. This script was poorly written. A prophet once said, Abakari will leave Southeast in shame. Respect to Mazenam Dekano. He has violated the rules of the upper excellence. 
Now, they want to teach him a lesson. Please, let the fight and revelations not stop. Perhaps it will lead to lead us to the unknown. Things that are not known by Nigerians. Abakari portrayed himself as a super cop by splashing confessions of high-value criminals and pictures on his page, which is against the norms of investigations. The This uh, modus was to put fear in the criminal world and to tell them that they are the they are on the radar by this he is able to compromise his position for personal gain after all he was after all it was not a what he projected himself to be pray you are not extradited to the u.s else that will be your end i wish you were anyway i wish you were they should allow him face his charges in usa when he returns then he will face ndla Ah, very soon they are going to bring up a write-up. I think a lawyer was saying that, oh, all those uh, allegations, all this investigation, how we collected money from uh, Osh Poppy, this and this and this and that, that the money was transferred, you didn't collect any money, that he was even trying to play them. <clears throat> that one, I just like, I shook my head. That he was even trying to set them up, all those things that they were talking about, I was just I just shook my head. You know, the uh, the Malami, the AGF, has already said, has already said that uh, all those investigations that, all those sons do not hold water. That they want to start afresh. They want to start afresh. And if they start afresh, at the end of the day, they will put him, they will just give him a clean slate. Let him go and visit America first. Please. And who said Mazinam de Kano is not a prophet? All he has said has always come to pass. The wicked against innocent Biafrans will never go unpunished. He said, Kayari the criminals working hard against you, but you will be safe. Inshallah. Mm. Kayari, the criminals are working hard against you. Hey, <laughs> criminal. Okwa, comrade Noves. This one is good news. I beg, smile, small. Mm. The language teacher is now the language student. No be juju be that. The super cop turned to super drug businessman. Nigerian police commission. Shame to you all. Hmm. You never see anything. You never see anything. Thing, anything, money, more things are coming. You will need the South East in shape. Who said this? And so, woo A, mm hmm B, uh-huh. Hey, hey. God of IPOB is not sleeping. A tip of the iceberg. Some of us knew about all this why, but who cares? And one thing is that a lot of allegations have been laid against this man. But they didn't, they just, they would just be throwing everything away. They were throwing everything into the bin. Not until when FBI came. If not because FBI brought this whole thing. Believe you me, Nigerian government or the Nigerian police wouldn't have done anything because that was not the first case he was, you know, he was, uh, he was charged against or he was, he was accused of. That was not the first case, but they were throwing everything. So because this one don't hook them for body, that's why her neck, that's why they are trying to, okay, try to suspend him and all of that. Forget it. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.